Box A has a volume of 48 cubic meters. Box B is similar to box A. To create box B, box A's dimensions were doubled. What is the volume of box B? Well, if we think through this, we know that if we're calculating the volume of a box, we're doing length times width times height to get a volume of 48. That's for box A. If box B remains similar and the dimensions are doubled, then every dimension is going to be twice as big as it was when it started. So the length is now twice the length. The width is now twice the width. The height is now twice the height. This is why the volume is not simply twice the volume, because we are taking that length times width times height, and we've multiplied each dimension by 2. So if we regroup this, 2L is the same thing as 2 times L times 2 times W times 2 times H. So we still have the length times the width times the height if I want to regroup this using the commutative property of multiplication. And then we see that because each dimension is doubled, we have 2 times 2 times 2 because there are three dimensions being doubled. So doubled means a factor of two for each dimension three times. So the volume, we know that the original volume was 48. The length times width times height for the original volume is 48. The new volume is going to be eight times that amount, eight times 48.